and the families they leave behind. Andrew Williams. Mr Speaker, on behalf of New Zealand First, I wish to express our greatest sympathy to the family, whanau, friends and comrades of these brave soldiers, Corporal Luke Tamatea from Kawarau, Lance Corporal Jacinda Baker from Christchurch and Private Richard Harris from Pukekohe. It is with great sorrow that in the short space of two weeks we are mourning the loss of more New Zealand soldiers in Afghanistan. They died in the service of their country, undertaking a short 15 kilometre road journey, taking a sick mate for medical treatment. This is the first time since the Vietnam War that we have mourned the loss of a woman killed in action. It has also not been since the height of the Vietnam War in 1968, 1969 and 1970 that we have lost so many soldiers in such a sp short space of time. I feel great sorrow for the latest loss of lives and for those that grieve for them, and I know how their loved ones are feeling this week, having lost my brother in Vietnam in 1969. The pain of the tragic loss never goes away, but the families and friends can always be incredibly proud of the ultimate sacrifice their loved one made in the service of their country. New Zealand soldiers working in the Provincial Reconstruction Team have carried out beneficial work in Bamiyan province, which has greatly improved the lives and safety of civilians there. We admire all the selfless work that these soldiers carried out to help others and acknowledge that it takes great courage and bravery to serve in such a war-torn area as, a, as Afghanistan. This is a time for our nation to remember those who we have lost and pay them the tribute they greatly deserve. May they rest in peace. The Speaker. Honourable Dr Peter Sharples.